I praise and thank God for this beautiful morning time that God has given us to come in His presence before His precious Word. For our meditation today, let's turn to Proverbs chapter 14, verse 32. The wicked is driven away in his wickedness, but the righteous hath hope in his death. Here the Spirit of the Lord is clearly talking to His children about the reality of death. Though death seems to be a normal process in the life of man, it is experienced differently by a righteous, a righteous person and a wicked one. It is an experience of entering a new life that remains for eternity. And the whole life of this earth sums up for a moment at the time of death. Every man who is born in this earth has that fear of death in his life. Knowingly or unknowingly, the fear of death overshadows a person. And the enemy takes advantage of that fear and drags them into various traditions and rich religious rituals and gives them a false promise and comfort and drags them away from the true living God. Some people claim that they do not have the fear of death in their life. But then comes the difference of a righteous one and the wicked one. A righteous person has hope in his death. But for an unbeliever, the life after death does not offer him anything to hold on. All his hope and expectations come to an end at that very point of life. The things for which he was struggling and aiming for so that they could have a happy and prosperous life upon this earth and the opportunities they had to enjoy the pleasures of sin is cut off through death and everything seems vanity for them at that moment when the reality of death takes hold of them. Their life which was rooted in the things of this world seem drifting away from them and they plunge into the pit of discouragement. And they will have a guilty conscience and a heavy heart that is filled with regrets for the opportunities they have missed that God has provided them in their entire journey. The word of God says, the wicked man is driven away. That means the man who was bound by sin and was enjoying his sinful life and was not prepared to leave this world will be driven away from this world by, bound by the cords of death suddenly. And he cannot resist it. He must go when death comes to take him as he has no other option. His wealth, fame and influence cannot help him at that moment. They lived in wickedness and they die in wickedness, bound by sin and everything seems to be an end for them. Every man is a born sinner except our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But the life upon this earth gives us opportunities that makes a difference for the future. A person who is saved through Jesus Christ has the hope of life eternal. As he is redeemed from the judgment of God and is delivered from the clutches of sin. As he is free from sin, death cannot frighten him with its poisonous stings. A righteous person who is saved through Christ will be ready to leave this world as he knows he is going to a better place where he will be with his loving Savior for eternity. For him, death is an opportunity to leave this world and be free from sin and sorrows forever. For a righteous one, the prison of flesh, which appears as a great hindrance for his spiritual growth, is broken through death. And the soul and spirit that yearns to be with the Lord fly happily in freedom to be with the Lord. Death is a joy, joyful experience for him as it is the opportunity to enter the world he was hoping for in his entire life. They will enjoy the life, the relief of escape from this evil world and the sinful flesh in which they were struggling. And the eagerness to meet the Lord whom he loves the most in his life cannot be described in words. A true child of God will not be eager to see the golden streets of heaven or the dear and near ones who have left him before. But when death approaches, it will be an exciting moment for them as they know they will meet the Lord face to face. They will be riding in the chariots of praises and will never experience the pain of separation through death from this world. 
It's a blessed moment in the life of a child of God as heaven is also waiting for the arrival of its dear child. This morning, let us look at our own lives. Do we have the hope in us? Or does the shadow of death still frighten us in our journey? And do we cling on to the Lord because of that? If then, it is the right time to analyze our life and our relationship with the Lord. Let us leave all the sinful ways which we enjoy that will help the cords of death to tighten us with its fear and des desperation. Whether it is life or death, both are blessed ones for a child of God. Remember, we are still alive and have the opportunity to taste the goodness of salvation. Once death comes before us, we'll never receive one more chance and we'll be left with only regrets for a foolish and rebellious nature in the eternal lake of hellfire. Let us live each moment in that hope of eternal life with the Lord. Let us prepare ourselves each moment for that. Remember, every opportunity that we receive in this lifetime is precious. So let us grow in the Lord. Let us love Him, obey His words, so that we may grow to the holy stature of Christ. Let us pray. Father, we praise You and thank You for this beautiful opportunity that You have given us to come in Your presence. Thank You for Your word that strengthens, that encourages us. Lord, if you're coming, Taris, death is a reality. We all have to face. Lord, thank you for giving us one more day. Help us to enjoy that fellowship with you so that as the time of departure comes, we don't have to worry about anything. Death cannot frighten us. Thank you, Lord, for the hope that you have given us. Thank you for the eternity that you have promised us. Help us to run our race. May your name be glorified. In Jesus' most holy name we pray. Amen. May God bless each one of us. Our Lord is coming very soon. Maranatha.